Thanks a lot, Bart. So we are on a mission to power the planet with clean electricity from ocean waves. And in Quo Power, 75 stubborn minds from 14 countries have come together to uh, unlock one of the largest untapped sources of uh, clean energy out there. Similar magnitude as all the nuclear or all the hydro capacity of the world today. But what I think really makes it interesting is this buffering effect that the big oceans provide. If we look at a typical week of power profiles, we see the daily pattern of a week of PV. We know how the sun goes up and down. We have the bit more stochastic variations of wind in, in dark gray. And then we have a typical week of wave, which is a much more flat dark blue curve here. And as one of the biggest challenges for the world to transition to net zero is to ensure there's clean electricity available at all hours of the year, we believe that ocean energy can take a big role here. And we should view the oceans as huge energy storage units for us. And in that sense, the oceans can take a similar role that Fossil is playing today to provide that stability to the energy mix, but doing it clean. And when added to wind and solar, it can really reduce the cost of firmed clean electricity. The challenge, well, historically wave devices, they've either broken in storms or they just become way too large, heavy and costly compared to the energy they could produce and then the economics has not worked. And that is a picture that we have drastically changed in coal power by the introduction of a new type of high efficiency wave energy uh, technology. And we brought some important innovations uh, to wave energy that makes it work. First of all, we make devices that are naturally transparent and protected in storms. These devices can take 15 meter waves without moving in their transparent state. And then we use advanced control technology that amplify the motion in regular ocean conditions. And thereby, we can strongly amplify how much energy you can produce. And together, that makes it possible to extract about five times more energy per the amount of equipment that you have there. So it's a big bump in the structural efficiency. That means that when you put volume on this, it quickly becomes very competitive. We need about 600 megawatts to get to 70 with a clear path to 30 to 40 euros per megawatt hour. And the physics, the performance, the survivability, we've been proving in the five stage uh, process. We started small scale. We're now designing our second generation commercial systems and we're aiming to be in a fully bankable product offering with type certification uh, from DMV in this stage. In the previous stage four, we have demonstrated our first commercial machine, the Copar C4, which is a nine meter uh, device, 300 kilowatts. And we also spent a lot of effort industrializing wave energy. So we've shown how we can use small local ports to deliver uh, projects. And in these ports, we've also demonstrated a very unique local manufacturing technology with a mobile factory cell for these nine meter uh, composite hulls. And in all stages of development, we've been using dry testing to really stabilize and make reliable machines with simulated wave loading before we bring equipment to, to the ocean. And we've also found the effi efficient logistics, how to integrate the drivetrains, the composite hulls and the mooring systems in the ports, and how we can use small, local, low-cost vessels for the installation, operations and maintenance of this. Overall, it makes for a very modular and thereby very scalable business model. Our building block, the individual devices, are very small compared to a wind turbine, as you can see here. We, we don't intend to make them bigger per unit. What we do is very high density clustering of these machines. We put them together in 10 to 30 megawatt clusters that we call core packs. And you can then lay out these core packs side by side to form large utility scale farms, either standalone wave or hybrid wind wave, as we show here. So in our project in Portugal, we're working together with developers, including Simply Blue Group, NL Green Power, EDP, and an oil and gas company to find the optimal mix between wind and wave, how to make best value out of the complementary production profile, and how to share the investments in the export infrastructure, and how to make best use of the ocean space. 
So I believe today coal power probably is one of the most ambitious efforts in uh, ocean energy. We strongly believe that the ocean is the next big thing in renewables. We believe that that stability piece that brings the complementarity the, to the energy mix is key for net zero and a key solution to allow the world to leave fossil behind. Thanks. <laughs>